What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to give you an update about the car that I found. So, after I found this car, I did contact the Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks and told them about the car that I'd found, or what I assumed was the car at the time. Um, so basically, they sent a dive team down there to make sure that there was no one in it. There was no one in it. I don't know whether there was an insurance scam, someone got like accidentally had an accident, it skidded out, it went in the water, they got out, and they just didn't tell anyone what happened. So that mystery still remains open. So not sure how the whole car got there, but I do know that there's no one inside. Now they have pulled several cars from this lake in the past, and there have been people found in them in the past. So it, it's just kind of in an area that's not, not necessarily the greatest, and sometimes stuff like that happens. Um, so it was reported, it was confirmed that no one was inside. Um, I saw that there was a lot of people that were wondering like, oh, is it a boat? I think it's an SUV. There was a lot of different thoughts out there of what it could be. And I kind of want to give a little bit more of an explanation as to how, after looking at it, I knew that it was a car. So the first thing that you got to keep in mind, I've had a ton of experience on these graphs. This one graph that I took the screenshots with, I currently have 1,010 hours on that unit of, I mean, some of it, some of it's it sitting there, but a lot of it is me idling, looking at different things on the bottom, interpreting what they are from rocks to brush piles to trees to stumps to, in this case, cars. You'll see tires on the bottom. Tires are actually very, very common. For whatever reason, people just dump tires in all these lakes. And um, so just a ton of time looking at different things and really interpreting these objects in a different way. But I felt like the shadow aspect a lot of people didn't fully comprehend as to like, well, it doesn't look like a car. It looks like either a canopy on a boat or it looks like an SUV or something like that. So I wanna do a little bit deeper dive into how these shadows are affected by depth finders. But first, so one thing to keep in mind, it's not an instantaneous picture. Like the whole thing isn't instantaneous. It's like you're taking a panoramic um, shot with your phone. So you're just, it tells you to rotate the phone slowly. So it's literally taking that picture at that instantaneous point as you transfer it across the, as you kind of rotate your screen. So it's just like that, just scanning across the bottom. Um, it's not just picture. That's not how this is done. So that's, so it can be distorted a little bit that way in, in and of itself. But the second thing is the direction in which you're hitting that car. So let's grab the flashlight, get in the dark room and show you how a car looks with the different shadows. I'm not saying the, the one is sunk is a Mustang GT that's 2018. That's not the case. It's actually a much older body style. I believe it was either late 80s or mid 90s body style that was that's actually the car it, what it was in the lake that's what the diver had said after they dove down now obviously right now they're not going to pull the car out because it's one degree outside it's been that way for a week and actually tomorrow's low is like negative 18 so probably not going to get this thing pulled for a while but let's look at different angles of uh, from a much smaller scale and see how the shadow is affected from different angles all right, to show how the actual angle that the depth finder is hitting that car and emitting a shadow, like I said, we got this little mini toy car. It's not a great, great example, but you can really see how the shadow gets distorted with different depths and different ways that that beam is coming across that car. So like right there, that car almost looks like a bulldozer in the almost looks like a bulldozer in the water based off of just kind of the direction it's hitting. So just kind of going from that back part and you can see how just different angles really affects the shadow of it. And they're like, you can see through it, but it doesn't necessarily, you would never think that that's a Mustang GT down there on the bottom based off that shadow. Now, as you kind of rotate around, you can kind of really see just, I mean, you can tell that it's a car, but you can't really tell like, Oh, it's it's too much different like there's different angles where like yeah maybe okay that one looks more like a boat or that one looks more like an SUV and clearly it's I mean it's a sports car in this instance 
but you can you can see how as we kind of get lower that gets distorted but you can still see the through the windows exactly like how those pictures on the car on the depth finder look so yeah as you can see it really changes that shadow depending whether i'm i'm in super if the car's in super shallow water water like what i'm showing right now or if i'm or if i'm in deeper water that shadow is a lot less so it really just depends on how deep that car is and kind of what angle I'm hitting it at at that time in order for it to show up. All right, guys, I hope that was a little bit clearer after that little demonstration that I had with the model car. So as you can see, man, it just, there's a lot of different angles that can make that car come off and just kind of look different under the water. And I, I totally get how a lot of people look at it and be like, well, that looks like an SUV to me. That looks like a boat. That looks like this. That looks like that. I get it. Um, now going forward, I don't know if they're going to be able to pull this thing out. I don't know if there's a dive team that's wanting to, I don't know if, whether it's insurance fraud or what's going on with it. Um, I, I do want to figure that out. I, and I m certainly will let you guys know if I've learned anything throughout the process of this, but, um, if, if you guys know of any potential leads on cars being sunk and just don't know whether you can get down there or not. I mean, these depth finders are, I mean, it, if it's there, you see it. Um, especially if you hit it from multiple different angles and really just kind of look at it from a bunch of different perspectives. So if you guys know of anything in the Northeast Kansas area, Oklahoma, Missouri, where there could potentially be a sunk car, let me know. I'll take a weekend and I'll go down there and try to find it. Um, I am fishing the Bassmaster Central Opens this year. And I will be out in Alabama a couple times this spring. So if anyone out in that location knows of any potential leads on cars sunk, I might be able to spend a day or so after a tournament looking for it. You just got to let me know. Um, so yeah, come along. We're, we're going to be filming the fishing series, which is, it, uh, it's, it's, it's what I love to do. So we'll be doing that. We'll be covering the tournaments from that aspect. And then we'll also be looking for this stuff on the side. So a lot of stuff going on in the channel. Um, so yeah, like, subscribe for more stuff to come. I appreciate your guys' time watching this thing. Thanks for all the comments and likes and everything like that on the previous video. I greatly appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time.